morning guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel uh, so today in this uh, video we are going to learn about facade lighting in my previous video I have shown a simple construction of the facade if you want me to do more tutorials on the facade construction you can send me the specific AutoCAD files on my email id as shown in below so I would try to make uh, another tutorial on facade construction um, so today in this video we are going to learn about uh, different facade lighting solutions and we are also going to see how to place uh, floodlights in the dialogues evo for the facade so let's get started coming to the facade lighting now what is facade lighting so basically uh, first let's define what is facade facade is the front facing exterior side of the building so facade lighting is something which we are illuminating the exterior side of this building with the light so that you know we can transform the whole entire building now this facade lighting how are we going to do it so so basically we have three lighting solutions for this the first one is the architectural architectural in architectural lighting solution we the facade elements are accentuated and the natural structure of the facade are emphasized the second one is the emotional lighting solution in which emotional lighting involves the transforming of the architecture by using lights the third one is the communicative lighting so in this communicative lighting solutions they convey the information that goes beyond the appearance of the facade so this is not basically illuminating the facade so there is some kind of information given to the people through lighting on the facade so today we are going to see the first part that is the architectural lighting solution in the architectural lighting solution so we have different types like we can highlight the facade element using different things like we can use a flood lights we can use up lights we can use line of lights we can grace the wall etc so for today's topic so today in this video we are going to learn how are we going to position the flood lights how many numbers of flood lights required and how are we going to aim our flood lights to you know have a proper illumination on the facade so basically the idea of using a uh, floodlights on the building is to completely wash the building so we are going to uniformly wash the building that is why we use flood lighting so here i have considered a simple model of the facade uh, this one i have not constructed this is actually a blob from the sketcher so you can go to the sketchup you can find this facade, uh, building facade if you see the 3d view so this is the 3d view of the same thing i just downloaded it and exported into .3ds file and then i have imported into dialogs if you want to learn how to you know use sketchup models in dialogs i will share a link in the description box of the video in which you can learn how to import the sketchup file to dot 3ds so we are ready with the model now we'll go and select the luminaire so for the facade lighting here i'm going to select something from so in the ecosine the lighting is files are easy available that's why we are considering ecosine i'm not uh, promoting this one it is only for the tutorial purpose so we are going to for products outdoor and then in the floodlights we have this one so here we have different types of uh, floodlights based on the mounting type and uh, different kind of fixtures so it totally depends upon you okay, which fixture you want to select so maybe we can go with this first one agora so here once you open and select the luminaire we have different voltages you can see this is 69 watts with 4725 lumens this is of different lumen and voltage so when selecting the luminaire or the floodlight for the facade you have to even concentrate on the lumen output 
so it's not only about the wattage it's also about the lumen output that is how the light uh, that is the information we consider we need to consider because of the light uh, illumination levels on the building so i don't want to use something very high wattage uh, that is beyond uh, 50 so i will consider something between 48.7 lumens so i think this will be enough because my building is not so big so i'll just click on this one uh, so if you see here i have uh, different optics uh, present here so i have spot i have super spot i have uh, medium i have white flood and i have a wall washer so it totally depends upon you give which one you are go you want to use so i want to use something with the white flood so you can see the light output they have shown here let's go and select the is file for that you have to select for codes and downloads come down here you can select the color temperature so i want something in 3000 kelvin power i want something below 50 let me select 48 dali optic i want white flood so i don't have any products in this with the 56 watts i have this one so i'll go with the 56 watts itself uh, then on the right hand side you can see the photometric data so it has both is ldt dialogs and relux files drop down so you can select any one of this so let us select dialogs drag and drop so you have the uld file go to import luminal file select the is file from the destination folder open and your is file is present here so now we'll go to the plan view so this is my building so the first thing is i have selected my luminaire the second step is how far am i going to position it so on the formula or the basic way to decide the recommended distance of a luminar from the building is that the fixture should be at least three by four times three by four into the building height so let's see what is my building height so this is you can measure it from here so my building is somewhere around 14.7 let me consider it to be 15 meters or okay let me consider it to be as 14.7 itself so i'm going for the calculator uh, so let's calculate so i said you the recommended distance should be 3 by 4 into the building height so 3 by 4 into the building height is 14.7 so my th light fixture should be 11 meters away from the building that is what the recommended position is so let's go to the plan view to place the distance you can use the reference line so this is my building and my fixture should be 11 meters away so yeah this is 11 meters uh, same way here Eleven meters. Now the step. Uh, now the next step is how many number of luminaires am I going to use? So for that one, the spacing between the luminaires is two into the distance what we have considered. So the distance is eleven. Eleven into two is twenty-two meters. So the distance between my luminaires should be twenty-two meters. Now let's check how much this, how much width is the building. So go to the reference line again, draw reference grid. So my building is around 30 meters. Go to the luminous, your light is selected, draw line arrangement. So here is by 11 meters from here to the last end. I'm just going to extend this one and let me select two luminaires for now and the distance i have is 14 so so 
so when i calculated the spacing should be uh, somewhere around 22 so i have 14 uh, i can you know just slightly move this one now i have uh, 18.25 this 5.5 i will move a little more so i will make it for here and for here uh, so i have placed my luminous on this side the same way i'm going to copy it on the other side too select control c control v if you want to verify the reference line draw one more reference line here from this end okay so this is correct so i have placed my luminous now i need to aim it so my luminous are in the air so the floodlights the floodlights can be placed on the ground or if you have some kind of you know compound wall or some kind of a tree here so the positioning depends upon how you are going to position it you need to place it on the ground itself so i'll go and select my I'll delete this reference lines first. Go to the side section view. Select the luminous and bring it down. A little more up. Now we are done with the positioning of luminous. So the next thing is aiming. For aiming, I'm going to select all the luminaires again. Only of this side first and I'm going to for the side view. So you can see in the side view, this is my luminaires. You can on this part show LEO alignment. And then just rotate this picture and you can see one yellow line indication showing the light output so how much how like on what height should i aim it so basically what we follow is the aiming should be not exactly half a little higher than the half of the height of the building so let me say this is four floors so don't uh, aim it exactly on this half you can slightly increase the aiming point from half so i will aim it little bit higher than the exact second floor so i'm going to aim it somewhere around somewhere in the third floor so this is how i'm aiming it same way i'm going to do it on the this side just select the side view rotate and you can aim it like this so now the aiming is done you can see the directions so we have aimed our floodlights here but you know the distance between the two luminaires are more so what we are going to do is the next thing we are going to slightly move our luminaire to this side the aiming go to the plan view and slightly rotate it The intention of rotating the luminaire is that we need to have a uniform ball washer on the facade. Positioned our floodlights and we have we have aimed it and also we have little bit gave them a little direction so that it focus properly. So to cross check if we have properly focused it and aimed it. Now we'll just check that one by running the calculation part. So before running the calculation, go to the go to this tab and make the background black so, so that it's easy for visualization. Calculation objects run entire project. So the result is completed and you can see the uniform 
nation of the building. So my building is properly illuminated on both the ends. You can adjust the brightness as per this. Check the thermal view. So in the thermal view you can see and interpret more the results more properly. So here it shows me the uniform illumination of light. So I'm getting 30 to 20 lights on the building. I'll just close the thermal view. If you want to check the result, so if you want to check the result on any specific wall, just click on results on surface. Suppose you want to check on this wall, click on this thing, and you can see the results appearing here. At the end of the building, I'm getting around 13 to 11 marks. So I'll basically delete this diagram for now. So we are done with the calculation part. We'll, we'll save the view and render it. Set the view of the building properly so that your entire building is visible. Also, the light output of the building is properly visible. Go to the ray tracing. Increase the resolution and start ray tracing it. So we have rendered our final image of the facade and you can see how nicely the image has been rendered with the uniform illumination of light on the facade. So guys in this video we have learned about selecting of the luminous, how to position it, how far to be positioned, what is the spacing required between the floodlights, how to aim it and finally how to check the results of the facade of the light lux levels in the dialogue civil so this is guys and this give this a thumbs up and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you